A while ago I introduced you to the Blue Pill development board, which is based around the STM32 microcontroller, which offers substantial advantages in comparison to the Arduino development boards based around the Atmega 328P. But of course the STM32 is not the only competitor in the microcontroller department is what Texas Instruments was probably thinking while they were sending me their TIRSLK kit, which stands for Robotics System Learning Kits. In a nutshell, this kit got all the components to create your own little robots, but also offers more advanced learning modules to make your robots even smarter than ordinary ones, which is a great engineering learning exercise. So in this video, let's find out what advantages their sent microcontroller, the MSP432 offers, how easy it is to program slash work with, and whether I'm capable of teaching my new robots a few tricks. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by Texas Instruments. After opening the kits, I immediately grabbed the included microcontroller development board package, which not only contained the development board or launchpad, how they call it themselves, but also a small brochure for the launchpad, which basically told me to visit a specific website. On the site, I noticed right away that the price of $20 for this board is definitely a bit higher than the price of an Arduino development board. But then again, the presented datasheet of the MSP432 sounds pretty promising. The biggest advantages for me are the faster clock speeds, more memory space, a higher resolution ADC as well as more timers, tons of GPIOs, an included real-time clock and finally useful low power modes, for which the MSP microcontrollers are not only pretty famous for, but also to some degree mandatory when it comes to battery powered robots. So all in all, the MSP432 offers a lot more features than the Arduino. The only question is how easy it is to utilize them. But before answering that question, I unpacked all the mechanical and electrical components which were included in my robotics system learning kits and organized them in small piles that I could easily work with. Then I grabbed myself the basic kit construction guides, which is available on ti.com slash rslk and explains quite detailed and most importantly through pictures how to assemble the robots. Now I'm going to save you some time by not explaining every little step, but let's just say I prepared a bit of shrinking tube, cut some wires, soldered headers into place, wired up two motors as well as the line following sensor and bumper switches, mounted the wheels and attached the rest of the components to the robots with bolts and nuts. And as the last step, I connected all the jumper wires either to the microcontroller development board or the power slash motor control board. And just like that, I got myself a basic robot. To test whether I wired up everything correctly, all I had to do was to visit the TI cloud, where you can find tons of helpful information for every launchpad board open the gallery and look for the RSLK debug application. After opening it, I had to install some browser extensions, plug in my launchpad board through micro USB to my computer and simply watch as the application uploaded the correct code to my board and thus could interact with it. And as you can see, all bump sensors as well as the line following sensor and the motor control seem to work flawlessly. Beautiful. But how exactly can we create our own code for the development board? Well, there are two big options. The curriculum uses CCS, which stands for Code Composer Studio, which I will get to later in order to access some more advanced functions of the MSP432. But due to the recommendation of a TI colleague, 
I started with Energia, which is an open source software with the goal of bringing the Arduino and wiring framework to the Texas Instruments launch pads. So I went ahead and downloaded the latest version of it, which I then extracted. After starting the software, I opened its board manager in order to download the files for the MSP432 boards. And just like that, we could open the notorious Blink example sketch and upload it just like that to the board without changing anything. And it would work. Now, as you would expect, this IDE can be worked with just the same way as you would use the Arduino IDE which makes it super easy to use. But the problem for me is that it is trying to mimic the Arduino a bit too much for my taste. For example, does the analog write function use an 8-bit maximum value, while we got 16-bit and 32-bit timers in place? And the analog read function utilizes a 10-bit maximum value, while the board is capable of handling 16 bits. So while the Energia IDE is a great way for beginners to play around with the launch pads, I'm currently missing guides on how to do more advanced things with it, like register or timer control. The next problem is that the TIRSLK kit is not officially supported by Energia yet. But luckily a TI colleague hooked me up with a rather unpolished library, which I downloaded and included. The reason why I said unpolished was that after uploading a couple of provided example sketches for the robots, it seems to not do anything at all after pushing the start button. After doing a bit of investigation, I noticed that the pins which were assigned in the library do most of the time not correlate with the pins mentioned in the build guide. So I used the given pin mapping of my used launch pads in Energia in order to alter the pin values. And after once again uploading the example codes, the robots finally came to life. Now by using one of the more complex example codes, I was able to create a simple white line following robots, which was certainly an awesome learning experience. And since my robot is now alive, how exactly can we access some more advanced functions of the MSP432? For that, I firstly downloaded and installed the simple link MSP432 SDK, whose quick start guide recommends to use the CCS software. After downloading slash installing it by following the already mentioned guides, I opened the software and honestly had no idea what to do. Thankfully though, the software included a resource explorer, where I was able to choose my launchpad version and immediately got access to a few interesting and more complex examples for the board, like deep sleep power modes or timer control. Now I will not go into detail here how to exactly control those features, since there's plenty of information about that on the Texas Instruments website. All I want to say about this Code Composer Studio is that it definitely takes a bit of time to get used to. But once you master this kind of programming, you can truly control the MSP432 in every way imaginable, which makes it a very versatile microcontroller for more demanding tasks. And in the end, this is what engineers use in the industry to build real products. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed my small microcontroller robot adventure. If you want more information about the robot kits and Texas Instruments launch pads, then you can find links to them in the video description. And if you got ideas for other microcontrollers I should have a look at, then tell me so in the comment section. As always, stay creative and I will see you next time.